We're going to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code, sometimes called VS Code, on Linux using mostly the standard techniques. We're going to handle the key management a little bit differently. To start with, we're going to do the common task of a sudo apt update, which is going to update the available packages on our local system. And then we'll install the background software needed by the VS Code package. So we'll go ahead and run those two commands and let them finish. Once that's done, we're now going to download the key from packages.microsoft.com. Most of the time when you look at the instructions, you won't see this style of key management. What you'll see is passing over to uh, some kind of apt key command, which is going to result in the key being in a common location, the trusted.gpg file. This isn't considered secure anymore, so it causes warnings. To avoid having to fix the issue in the future, plus get the warnings now, we're going to store the key in a key rings directory. We're just going to call the key packages.microsoft.com.gpg. And you'll notice that this command dearmors the key in the middle. So we'll go ahead and run this command to get a hold of that signing key. We can verify that the key is there just by listing the contents of the directory. So we list the contents of Etsy apt key rings, and we have the key in that directory. This next command is going to add the repository to our system. So we're going to do the sudo add apt repository with the information provided by Microsoft. And that's going to add the file into our apt sources. The downloader gives it a weird name. You can rename the file if you want to. So we'll go ahead and list the contents of that directory. It's Etsy apt sources list D. And in there we'll see this file, rkbri, htbs, packages, microsoft.com, repos, vs, jamie, list. Like I said, if you want to rename that, uh, definitely not a bad idea. We're going to rename that file just for convenience. We're going to call it vs code repo list with a sudo move command. If we list the contents of the directory, we'll now see that we have VS code repo dot list. And we want to edit that file because we want to make sure that the repo knows where the signing key is that we downloaded in the earlier step. So we're going to edit this file. And we want to put the signed by attribute in here. So we're going to say signed by. And then we need to give it the path, the full path to that key that we grabbed earlier. So that was Etsy apt key rings. And we called it packages.microsoft.com.gpg. The second line here is for the source code files. For Microsoft VS Code, we don't need the source code in our case, so we're just going to delete that line. And so now you can see we have architecture equals AMD64, and the signed by equals the full path to that key. If you get an error uh, talking about the architecture, you can just reverse these two. Sometimes if the signed by comes first, it prevents an error from happening. And so we're going to do sudo apt update to download any new packages from that repository. Now we'll do sudo apt install code to install the software package. Once the package is installed, you can run code by typing in code at the command line to start Visual Studio Code.